we have a vessel so the it's a circular vessel so if you look from the top you will see concentric circles of radius r1 of radius r2 now water in the vessel is filled to the height h we need to find the pressure at a function as a function of distance r from the axis so from the axis if you move at a distance r what will be the pressure so this is the same diagram so this is inside radius is r1 and at this distance r we need to find the pressure so let's define some points let the top of this container be point a at a distance r let's take a point b and at the opening let it be point c let's let's also assume the thickness of this uh, this gap let it be delta so first let's find the velocity of efflux at point c so we'll use bernoulli at point a and c so p0 plus rho gh is equal to p0 plus half rho vc square so this gives vc is equal to root 2 gh just like a normal efflux so we have found the velocity here now let's try and find the velocity here so why we are trying to find the velocities because when we will need pressure at point b we need to use bernoulli equation so if so we need to find pressure at point b and in bernoulli we also need the velocity at point b so let's find that also so continuity between b and c so vb into area cross sectional area at b point is equal to vc into ac so now as discussed it's a circular opening so the cross sectional area at this point will be delta into circumference and circumference will be 2 pi small r so ab will be 2 pi small r into delta now similarly cross sectional area at point c so just at the opening so that will be again circumference of this circle times delta so that will be cross sectional area through which water is coming out so that will be vc into ac so area at c will be 2 pi r1 into delta now we have terms of now we already know vc is root 2 gh so from here we got vb is equal to root 2 gh r1 by r now we can use bernoulli between b and c because we already know the velocities at b and c so pb they are at the same height b and c so pb plus half rho vb square is equal to p naught plus half rho vc square so we'll put the values of P, vb and vc here and we'll get our answer all right